All right, guys, here we are at Oxley Golf Club here with Josh Bevan, the trainee. Um, Mizuno is sponsored as well. Yep. Second year? Second year. How are you enjoying the PGA traineeship? Uh, it's definitely an experience. Uh, yeah, no, but you'd be it, honest, it, mate. It, I mean, it's, it, 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 it is. It is. Is it, it hard? It is what everyone thinks it is, plus a bit more. Yep. Uh, you, you know, you've, you've got assignments due. That's pretty much every Friday. Uh, you still got to do 38 plus hours, some more depending on who you are, where you are. Yep. Um, you've got to maintain playing averages, which, you know, to do a lot of playing plus assignments, plus work, yeah. plus trying to have a family life. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Actually, especially for yourself. So you said your wife's pregnant at the moment. 36 and a bit weeks, so any, mm -hmm. any moment. Nearly ready to go. Yeah. Uh, and married. Married last year, yep. And a house. And the house be gone. And and that's the thing. I was in exactly the same boat as yourself, uh, uh, coming into the end of third year. Um, and yes, it's not easy. Yeah, it's a uh, lot but, of funds left at the end of the week. But no, but, <laughs> but, but, but that's what it is. So for me, I got through mine. Jared Love, who's now head pro at Winteroo. Winteroo. He um, come to the PGA trainee interview, uh, information night. Yep. He had the same thing. He had a couple of kids, a house, and whatever else. And I thought if he can do it, I can do it. Yeah, and he is flushing. And he's doing so well so go see actually one with there go, go see Windaroo go see Jared and the guys out there doing a great job so what's in the bag which end do you want to start at mate do you want to go long or short well uh, the best part of your games are short end so let's yeah. go to short end all right we'll, we'll go short <laughs> so let's go putter first putter. let's go putter all right because this is something a bit different so uh my uh Mizuno uh MP A304 A304 so I think um, Australia had that, the US didn't, maybe? Yeah, I don't and know if I they think, got it. And I think Europe did. Europe, Europe got it a bit of, I think we were, like most things for Mizuno, we get them just off, off season, so we get them just before they do. Uh, they stopped making them now, but, you know, standard uh, 1025 milled, uh, black, black finish with your white alignment, so it's slightly slightly tilted at the top with white finish and white alignment. I'll, I'll get a close-up of that. It's actually quite interesting. Like it's quite a, you can see in the close-ups of the face, it's quite a thick line. But when you place it down by the ball, it's, it's a very, very thin thin line, line that kind of helps a bit of alignment. And uh, yeah, you know, there's there's no added weights. It is what it is. Man, guess the job done. Length? Length, it's uh, now cut down to 33 inches, so a bit shorter just so I can allow the arms to dangle and uh, slim 3.0 super stroke grip, uh, which Kylie actually put on. Oh. Uh, so, <laughs> better so, check your alignment on that. Yeah, that's probably why she beats. <laughs> um, again, a lot of people go into the um, 3.0s or the super strokes or a slightly bigger grip. Yeah. Had you been standard grip before this? I did have the standard grip and felt action in my wrist yep it just it fills the hands it feels awesome it is what it is yeah 100% go go try different grips if you can guys um, wedges so we'll go up to the next level you got how many wedges I've got uh, three wedges apart from my pitching wedge so you got pitching and then three others yeah so it goes pitching wedge gap wedge which is 51 degrees so a five degree break from pitching to gap then another five degree break to my sandwich, 56. And then a four degree gap for my 60, which is, it, it works out well with my meters around the green. Yep. So uh, that's sort of my easy 100, 105 hit. 105 hit for 51? Yeah, 51. I work on, I work a lot on control yep. uh, with my shots. So it comes down to about 95. Um, the biggest thing is when you're wedges in your hands, you don't need to hit them hard. Like too yeah. many people will hit full out gappies or it, sandies, it doesn't. Yeah, the, the biggest thing that I can actually tell people is let the club do what it's meant to do. And you don't need to swing after it because that's where mistakes happen. 75% swing gets the job done every day. 100%. And so 56 in 10 bounce and 60 in 6 bounce? 6 bounce. So my 60 is, I, I use it on a lot of shots around the greens. I can. I work on a lot of different shots with it, so bump and runs, uh, flop shots, bunker shots where I feel like um, sandwich just isn't quite going to cut it. Um, got it in the blue finish, I wanted to check what it would be like when I originally got them, so I got them 
couple of days after my uh, wedding last year, so I'll take it as a wedding gift. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's been a, a, well over a year now, and I've only got a little bit of blue missing off the bounce of the bottom here, and the rest is quite solid. The grooves are still in contact, and, you know, that's where I probably do my work, most work with my wedges. And that's the same here. I mean, I've got the T7 as well, the blue, and very surprised with how good the blue lasts. Like the, the base colour underneath it goes back to a white satin, which are the other colours. It's but, right, yep. you know, it's fantastic. No, 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 they're, and they're good, they feel bloody good. So, irons, yes. what's your set makeup in your irons? So, I've got four iron to pitching wedge in the JPX 900 Tours. Mm. Uh, so, it's the uh, same iron all the way through. I like the consistency with them. The head looking down on them gives them confidence. They're quite tiny, really, and look spec. Sorry, so you got um, I've, X100. I've got sharp. that uh, dynamic gold X100 uh, sharp here, um, half inch over standard length, with your know, multi compound gold pride standards on the grip. And standard light? Uh, two degrees up. Jeez, they don't look that up. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. You might have to check them in a lie loft. Yeah, no, I keep I keep <laughs> checking them just because they're. Uh, they're the grain flow uh, forge, yeah. you know, 1020, they're softer, they don't have the boron running through them as much as like the MD25s and yeah. new ones now. But, you know, being forged, check them every couple of months just to make sure. Especially, especially if you're playing as much golf as these guys, you just got to make sure you continue to check them or else they'll bounce back a little bit. Yeah, or they'll move a little bit anyway. Still got to play the standards. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then you go, so your four lines the longest line, then you go yeah, to? Three hybrid. Uh, it's a 19 degree JPX 900, sorry. Um, it's got their standard Fujikura shaft in it, uh, 83 gram X Flex. Uh, so I think their actual weight's about 85. It's a little higher. Um, I've got it uh, set on, so you can change it in the head with all the different uh, settings. I've got it on up just to help with my shot shapes that I play with it. So the standard loft upright, so it's 19 upright. Yeah, 19 uh, upright, uh, standard grip again, Every, everything. Just keep it the same, it feels the same, swing the same. So we're basically saying that about uh, the, or some of the new stuff, the CLKs have come out and the new MP18 irons. Josh is probably not going to change, like what's the point when yeah. you're hitting these bloody good? Take them, just gotta get out and warm up before I run. <laughs> um, so then, three wood? Three wood, I've gone for something that I can rely on making the shots, and it's a little bit stronger actually. So, if my driver's not on the day or I've got a long distance into a par five that I want to get up close, uh, I've got this. So, it is a 13.5 degree Titleist 917. Uh, it's the F3 make, uh, they do have the shore. Sure fit pin in there. I've got it so my natural shot usually is a slight fade. I've got a slight draw in there and bumped up about half a degree, so it's about 14 degrees, a little bit stronger. Slight draw, but I still manage to make it more or less a neutral weight that I can shape both ways. Perfect shaft. Uh, it's the only only shaft in my bag that's uh, stiff flex, so it's a uh, heavier heavier flex, 82 grams. Uh, stiff flex, uh, white uh, Donata. The, the D plus. So did you D go plus. to the S for a reason? I went to the S. I felt it was less board like, more controllable, and you can get a little bit more feel. Like especially being a strong head, yeah, I get a little bit more feel out of the shaft. Um, so it just allows me to Cause, play Because the white boards and the D plus are notoriously stiff yeah. tip, and so. If it's a little bit too low aloft or it's a bit too stiff or, then, or too heavy, then you're going to get a yeah. dead sort of feel. So that, that's, it, it's, since I'm usually an X-Flex, I go to it just to balance it out. Now, the Chief. The big Chief that was on play for one hole. <laughs> so uh, it's the JPX 900, of course. Uh, I've got the weights set up out of, outside, it's most forgiving. Uh, not too worried about the spin, I control that a bit more with the shaft. So that's my uh, Rogue, uh, 70 Same grand. Richo, strong, yeah. strong boys. Yeah, yeah. 2.8 <laughs> torque X-Flex. Yeah. Uh, it's about half inch longer than standard that you find in most drivers. Um, 
but yeah, like uh, I found the standard uh, speeder that they come with. It was a lot of it's a bit lighter of a shaft, but it also had high torque. Yeah. So I found it, you know, moving a bit oh, more than what I needed for what my swing was at the time. So, you know, you, you don't usually find these shafts in these heads. No. So I've just added and taken it on my own. Uh, it's also a little bit thicker in the grip too. So don't want overpowering flicking, but, you know, hands out there to help with that slight fade, which I can try and control off the team. Beautiful. No, Mr. Mizuno, that's good. So anything else in there, golf ball use? Uh, I mean, don't have to show it, but... Yeah, the golf ball, I'm trying out different things, coming to the end of the contract. Uh, just want to make sure I'm using the most consistent I'm that's finding. I'm finding at the moment, most consistent ball is probably the tallest Pro V1X. Um, I used to be the Pro V1s, and they've done the switch yeah, around, around, but around. I'm, I'm finding that's what... You know, I, I originally went off them because they were you know, scratching up really quickly yeah. and they'd, you'd only get two to three holes at best. Now they last a little bit longer. Yeah. But, um, I think a few years ago they made a really good ball that was indestructible and then yeah. they had to. <laughs> yeah, and then they, they, then they had to change the covers so yeah, that people were buying them again. <laughs> and everything. Um, but yeah, no, it was a. Uh, for for my, my style of game and my shots and where I try and be strong with my wedges. Uh, it was a close call between the Chrome Soft, just mm -hmm. the standard Chrome Soft and Pro V1X. I found same same flights, same spin patterns on the greens. Um, distance control was much the same. Uh, so the feel difference between the two, like the Chrome Soft and the, the X? The Chrome Soft was definitely a softer feel. Yeah. Sound and everything over, you know, it's hit and miss with both. What, what you find, yep. sound, like some people prefer sound, some people will see. Some people feel, yeah, it's whatever it is. That's why you need to go and test the balls. We've said it forever and a day, you need to test them, yeah. hit them yourself in real situations, and go from there. Yeah. Range finder, range finder. I've got the two of E3, so last year's model, yep. uh, still does the trick just as fine. Like, uh, it's not the slope very long because you can't use those in tournaments, yep. Um, but you know, it picks up a flag, picks up a bunker if it's in front of it, picks up a tree if you need to hit a certain distance, so. That's go. beauty. Yep. Uh, the gloves. Gloves. Uh, they're Pro Series leather. Uh, some of these medium large. Yeah. There you go. Me medium <laughs> large glove, and uh, some people might say, "Well, we couldn't get them. Uh, there wasn't much in Australia last yep. year. They've just started getting a few more in." Uh, if you're if you've played with the glove before and you're in love with it, which it's you will. It, it is. Yeah. It is one of the better leather gloves. Um, it's full compared to leather. Like you, you're going to struggle to find anything better in any other brand, yeah. which uses the same material. And like, the, the the more popular glove but less high range is the Techflex. Okay. It's a little bit thicker, but it lasts a century. It does. It's it is fantastic. It's like a baseball glove. Yeah, it's fantastic. So that's what I was originally using. Then they sent me these, so I might as well use them. Yeah, yeah. And feel a bit better. They are fantastic. Thinner, but you feel everything. So cool, cool stand bag, 14 way stand bag. Yeah, this is their uh, Pro Elite stand bag. Oh, are you one of these people as well? Yeah. Uh, oh, I keep keep the plastic on there because you know it doesn't <laughs> scratch. And see, Richo, it's that's not why, that bad. That's why you do it. Mate, so. Look at that. That is terrible. <laughs> that is not. It's, it must be a weirdo thing. I cannot think. unbelieve. Like, it's not, like a, not unwrapping a Christmas present. No, it's half unwrapped. It's, yeah, yeah, well, at least the present unwrapped so you can play with it. Yeah. Mate, it's a very nice sandbag. So you've got a 14-way Yeah, it's a 14-way yeah, split, so it's, you know, everything separated. It's, dis it's disappointing. When Jake came in with the sample, I was like, can I have that bag that's a six-way, which is this one, which was six-way? Then they went to 14, and I was like, nah. Yeah, so... <laughs> You know, it's hit and miss. Um, the yeah, safety pocket on the side, which you know I can't. I'm one of those people that can't play with a ring on the finger. Especially that chunky thing. Oh, uh, that's it. That's beautiful. Head. It's my father, so yeah. keeping everything traditional. Of course. But um, yeah, nice soft safety pocket on the side. Keep everything in there. Sunscreen, food, everything in there, and then a huge one on this side for your drinks. There you go. So. It fits about four or five drinks in there, as I found out last 
last couple of weeks ago playing family need, need to when it's a bit warm. 30, yeah. 30 plus degrees. Guys, Josh Bevan, um, Oxley Golf Club trainee. One more year to go. Support him. Uh, Instagram? Yeah, I've got uh, Instagram. Can't remember. Do, do you right want there. people to follow you? Yeah, go ahead and follow me. <laughs> I, I'll, I've, I'll find out your handle yeah, and I'll put it yeah, up. I'll, I'll, Hit and miss with so many things going on lately with the Simon's there, exam. There's so many yeah. other things to worry about. That's why it's, it's there, interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm hoping to try and get a few more. It'll be family and golf oriented either way. There you go. Yeah, you'll see a lot of dogs usually laying all over me at home. And a kid soon. And a kid soon. Yeah. Guys, thanks for checking out the video. Support Josh if you can. Uh, if you see him around, say good day. And um, yeah, we'll hopefully see him out some other time. Yeah, thumbs up on the video. There you go. Hello. Look at this guy. <laughs>